I knew I was fucked. God damn, I never run a convertible before. Is that right? Well, I guess you're about ready then, aren't you? Were your friends? You're not like the others, man. Really? No more of that talk around with the fucking leeches on you, understand? <laughs> Get in. I forgot about the beer. You want some? How about the meter? What? Never mind. Oh, right, listen. In a few hours, she'll probably be sane enough to work herself into some sort of towering Jesus based rage at the hazy recollection of being seduced by some kind of cruel Samoan who fed her liquor and LSD, dragged her to a Vegas hotel room, and then savagely penetrated every orifice in her little body with his throbbing, uncircumcised member. I just want to cut a little thing in your forehead. They look like caricatures of used car dealers from Dallas and sweet Jesus. There are a hell of a lot of them at 4.30 on a Sunday morning, still humping the American dream. That vision of the big winner somehow emerging from the last minute pre-dawn chaos of a stale Vegas casino. One of the things you learn after years of dealing with drug people is that you can turn your back on a person, but never turn your back on a drug, especially when it's waving a razor-sharp hunting knife in your eye.